Hi everyone and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian and today we have a peaceful warrior practice or Shanti Virabhadrasana. This is a practice that's going to help you find peace of mind both on and off the mat. Hop into something comfy and let's get started. All right, today we're gonna to begin in an extended child's pose. So come on down to the ground. Take your time getting set up here. And if extended child's pose is not a good pose for you to start in, just pick a shape where you can start to tune in to where you're at today and tap into the breath. If you wanna give it a go, reach the fingertips out super wide. And then allow your heart, your chest, to get really heavy as your forehead comes towards the earth. And we'll begin today by closing the eyes. I'm just taking a moment to notice how you feel. So something brought you here to this moment to press play, roll out the mat, put your comfy pants on and move with your breath. Again, close your eyes and just notice how you feel. Consider why you're here, what brought you here. <clears throat> and then as you're ready, gently begin to deepen your breath. We'll use the breath as a tool to guide us here today. This practice is really the invitation to remember or consider Maybe it's new, maybe you'll be learning this, that your attitude really does create your world. And the tools of yoga offer us so much. I'm getting to practice being conscious of our perception within poses, how we handle things that we discover on the mat. So that's some serious motivation to breathe deep. It's not just, okay, breathe deep because that's what we do in yoga. Use the breath as a tool and just do your best. Take one more cycle of breath, opening up through the shoulders, sending the hips way back. And then when you're ready, begin to slowly lift the head Walk the hands slowly in. We'll lift the hips up high. Walk the knees to center. Come into a nice tabletop position with a strong awareness through the spine, nice neutral spine. And then here we go. Inhale to drop the belly, open the chest. And exhale to round through. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, smile. Then exhale, round through, cat pose. Press into the tops of the feet, press into your fingertips, press into the index finger and thumb firmly. Good, then continue on your own, moving with your breath. And if you'd like, you can start to veer off the railroad tracks here a bit, just finding what feels good in your body today. Maybe stretching through the feet. Anything here that is calling your attention, go ahead and explore that while you continue to breathe deep and warm up. So today's peaceful warrior practice is really about seeing if we can focus and lean into a softer side. So if you're kind of jerking yourself around here already with your stretches, no worries, but see if you can soften just a bit because the way we move matters. With that in mind, plant your palms and consider just that as you slowly make your way to downward facing dog. You're doing great. Trust this time is valuable. You picked the right video. Trust the magic of, you know, the big picture. And we're here, so let's lean in, pedal it out, take a deep breath in through your nose and a long exhale out through your mouth. And then forget what it looks like. 
Try to find support from within and breathe a little deeper. Great, then soften through both knees. You're gonna kick your right foot out, so lift your right foot up and kick it out, and then slowly bring it all the way up and into a nice low lunge. Lower your back knee to the ground, and then you're gonna slowly just get light on the fingertips. So it'll be a little different for everyone. You might be able to come up right away. Otherwise, if you need the earth to support you, use it, but just be conscious through your fingertips so you're not pressing, pressing into your fingertips. But a little bit lighter. Great, then take one more deep breath in, and this time as you exhale, squeeze the inner thighs to the midline, which is gonna lift you up just a bit. Maybe you bring your hands to the top of your right thigh again. If you still need the earth, just stay right here. Otherwise, maybe we come here. We're squeezing inner thighs to the midline, lifting up through the chest. Big stretch as we breathe deep. Nice, and then we'll slowly shift forward. We're gonna bring the right hand over towards the left hand on the left side of the mat and then check it out. Nice and easy, I'm gonna lift my back knee up, lizard pose or lizard variation. Take a deep breath in here, look forward, just stretching nice and easy, and then exhale, lower the back knee. Awesome, you're gonna frame your right foot again, we'll pull it back now with the right hip crease, so stretch your front leg, just stretching out through the legs, beautiful, and then slowly and keep a nice micro bend in this uh, front knee. Slowly begin to tug your fingertips back and open up through the chest. Open your heart forward. Beautiful, inhale, then exhale. Roll everything back to your lunge. Shift forward, lift the back knee, take a deep breath in, and then we'll plant the palms. As you exhale, shoot the right toes out. Nice strong core here as you come to plank pose. Inhale in. Then exhale, slowly lower the knees to the ground, and then slowly bend your elbows, bringing the belly to the earth. Soft, easy movement today. Remember, find that sukha, that ease. As you inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Great. We're gonna press back up to all fours first. Nice tabletop position. Find that nice neutral spine here. Good, then curl the toes under, peel up from the hip creases, and lift the bum up high. Downward facing dog. Great, bend the knees softly here, sweetly, then kick your left foot out, kick, kick, kick. Nice extension through the left leg, and then bring it all the way up and in. Slowly lower your right knee to the ground. You're doing great, keep breathing. Nice, solid, full breaths. And again, just a little light around the fingertips today. Start to fire up the core a little bit. You can stay here, but just make sure you're not pressing into your fingertips. But have that awareness, just nice and easy. If you like, interlace the fingertips, bring them to the top of the left thigh, pull that left hip crease back and start to lift your heart. Now, as we get further and further in this practice, keep checking in with the skin of the face. Can you keep it soft and easy? Keep checking in with your energy, your attitude, your vibe. Q Kendrick Lamar. So keep the good vibes going. Inhale, lift your chest. Breathe deep. And then slow release. We'll bring the hands over towards the right side of the mat this time. Toes are pointing forward. And here we go, curl the back toes under, lift that back knee up. You can always keep the back knee lowered if your body's telling you to do so. Then tug the hands back in space, draw the shoulders away from the ears and inhale, open the chest, breathe deep. Nice, and then exhale, lower the back knee, walk that left foot in. We'll frame the left foot with the hands and here's our runner stretch. Pull the left hip crease back, flex your left toes towards your face. Now keep a slight bend in that left knee. Really feel this out. Notice if you're just kind of getting there and then stopping, use your breath. Explore, nice, soft, easy movement. And then when you're ready, you'll tug the fingertips back, inhale to look forward, really open the chest. And then when you're ready, slowly rolling through that left foot. Great, lift the back knee. Here we go, nice low lunge. 
And then as you're ready, we'll plant the palms, step the left toes back, strong plank. So zip up through your core. Imagine your lower belly and your upper abdominals really coming in to meet towards your center. You can lower the knees here or keep them lifted. We're gonna be here for five, four. Breathe deep, keep the face soft and easy. Three, two, one, beautiful. Lower to the belly, nice and easy. <laughs> and then inhale, open the chest, smile, catch a wave, and then exhale, release. Nice, curl the toes under, press up to tabletop position. Awesome work. Right hand comes to the center of the mat. You're gonna walk your knees out just a bit, just a hair wider than your hip points. Then inhale, open, left fingertips up towards the sky, big stretch. And then exhale, left hand replaces the right and you're gonna take it to the other side. Right fingertips reach up. Nice, one more time on each side. Back to center, breathe deep. And then exhale, last side, awesome, great. When you come back to center, walk the hands out mindfully, walk the knees in mindfully, curl the toes under and peel up from the tail. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, let the heels grow real heavy, downward facing dog. Great, take a moment here now to find stillness, close your eyes and remember why you show up for regular practice maybe to tend to your most important relationship, the one that affects all of your other relationships, the one with yourself. Bend your knees, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop or crisscross or dosido -si -do to the top. Take your time getting there when you get there. Let it all go. Drop the doing, keep spiraling back in towards your breath. We'll use this focus on the sound of the breath to really create a sense of peace in the mind and in the body. Great, dig into your heels, tuck your chin into your chest, bend your knees, and as you're ready, slowly roll it up. Mountain pose, check yourself. Find your breath, stand up nice and tall. Then as you're ready, we'll bring the feet together, really together, and really zip up through the legs today. Feel that connection as you squeeze the legs together, maybe the toes lift up. Then align head over heart, heart over pelvis. And find a nice, consistent, smooth breath here. Just try, do your best. And we'll slowly bring the hands together at the heart. And you're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna send your hips back in space. Connect to your center here. And we're just gonna slowly send the hips back in space. Heart stays nice and open, chest nice and open. Great, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, send your fingertips forward, Utkatasana. Beautiful, drop the hips back a little more, breathe deep. Palms are facing each other here today, just nice, lots of space. Great, then slowly bring the hands back. We fired up through the legs and you're gonna press into your heels. Stand up nice and tall. Now shift your weight to your right foot. You're gonna slide the left toes all the way back, way back. Beautiful, then you're gonna pivot on your back foot. And we'll come to warrior two. Send the fingertips out wide. Pull the pinkies back. Strong focus, strong breath. Drop your center down in space and then you guessed it. Shanti Virabhadrasana. Keep that front knee over the front ankle. You're gonna reach your right fingertips forward. Try to maintain length through both side bodies as you reach the right fingertips all the way up towards the sky, just up towards the sky first. Reach, reach, reach. Imagine that your right hip crease and your right elbow and your right wrist and your right fingertips are all connected in one nice strong line. Great, inhale in here and then exhale. Pull the thumb back, sink deep into that front knee. Peaceful warrior. Great, exhale. We're gonna slowly from your center bring the right elbow all the way to the top of the right thigh. Then inhale, here we go. Big stretch as you reach the left fingertips all the way up towards the sky first. And then slowly all the way up towards the front edge of your mat. Pull the left thumb back. Feel that connection now from left hip to left shoulder, left elbow, wrist, fingertips reaching one nice long line. 
Beautiful, if you want, you can open up here by bringing the right fingertips down to the earth. If that's not in your practice, save it. Beautiful, inhale, everyone. Exhale to slowly make your way back down to your lunge. Inhale to open the chest. Exhale to bend both knees, catch a little momentum here and rock the back foot up to meet the front. Great, inhale lifts you up halfway, send the crown forward, tail back, and exhale to fold. Beautiful, inhale to reach for the sky, and exhale, mountain pose. Feel it out, breathe deep. If the feet are not together, bring them together, really together here. Feel that connection, so zip up through the legs, connect to your center, and then we'll draw the hands together at the heart, Anjali Mudra. Here we go, inhale, exhale, send the hips back, bend the knees, send the hips back. Navel draws in and up, we find that support system. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the legs together still. Squeeze and lift. Just test it out, send the hips back. Focus on your inner support system. Earlier this month, we talked about self-discipline, creating um, self-discipline within the patterns of heat, tapas. You got it, take one more breath, maybe lower your hips a little more, open up through the chest. Beautiful, and then slowly press into the heels, stand up, shift your weight to your left foot, then we're gonna slide the right toes way back, trust. Beautiful, then pivot on the back foot. You got it. And as you're ready, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, strong and steady. Keep breathing, you gotta keep up with the breath, nice and strong. Keep returning to the sound of your breath. And then here we go, Shanti Virabhadrasana. Front knee stays over front ankle, we're gonna reach forward, create length. And then all the way up first towards the sky, create length here. Beautiful, long lines, strong, grounded through the legs. Breathe deep. Yes, and then let's keep it going from the center, from your core. Pull the left thumb back, lengthen through the crown, and lean back, way back. Front foot, strong, back foot, strong. You got this, one more breath, inhale. Nice, and then exhale, bring the left elbow to the top of the left thigh, nice. Strong legs still, draw energy up from your arches. Inhale, reach right fingertips all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, maybe, just maybe, you take the right fingertips all the way up towards the front edge of your mat. Maybe left fingertips come to the ground here. Extended side angle, maybe not. Wherever you are, light up. Find a softness in the forehead. Inhale, breathe deep, lean back. Nice, and then exhale, bring it all the way back to your nice low lunge. Beautiful, beautiful. Inhale to open the chest. And then exhale to plant the palms. Step the left toes back, strong plank pose. Breathe deep here, inhale. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work. In downward dog, you're gonna lower the right elbow and then lower the left elbow and bend your knees. Dolphin pose. So you can go half dolphin or puppy posture by lowering the knees to the ground. If you're feeling pretty good, you can start to straighten through the legs, allowing the heels to grow heavy here. You wanna keep the shoulders tugging away from the ears. You wanna keep the elbows in line with the shoulders and wrists in line with the elbows. We have a foundations of yoga video just for dolphin if you wanna check it out. We're here for five, breathe deep, four, when the going gets tough, can you find the peace? Three, two, one, beautiful. Lower to the knees. Send the hips back. Yay, Balasana. Child's pose. And when you land here, really land here with the big, beautiful, buoyant inhale in, feel the skin of your back stretch. And then let something go as you feel everything soften. Breathe out. And again, just like that. Beautiful, slowly bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Take your time here as you slowly press back up. 
You're going to shift your legs to one side. You'll come to sit in the center of your mat and we're actually going to bring the left heel in and the right leg over. And we're going to try to bring the right foot to the ground. If it doesn't quite come to stick, that's okay. You just do your best. And then we'll use the same action that we used uh, before of squeezing the inner thighs to the midline to sit up nice and tall here. Then you can hug your right knee into the chest, send your right fingertips behind for a twist, or you can find a little bind here by bringing the left outer edge of the left elbow to the outer edge of your right knee. Breathe deep, sit up nice and tall. Use the inhale to sit up tall, tall, tall. And then use the exhale to draw the navel in for a nice supportive twist. And then slowly come back to center. You're going to keep this direction uh, that you have going with the right foot and you're going to bring your right knee to move over your left knee. And I'm just going to say just do your best. It took me years to come into this cow pose, uh, cow legs. So you just do your best. And then we'll bring the hands, peacefully place them on the soles of your feet. Sit up nice and tall. You don't have to do much here. You can feel the need to support the body with the breath. If you are anatomically already super open in the hips, you can start to take it forward here for a little more. Everyone, keep an awareness through your toes. Ride the wave of the breath here. Again, feeling the expansion in the back body as you inhale and then the softening as you exhale. Great, slowly release. Nice and easy, unravel with control and just take it to the other side. So bring your right heel in, left leg swings on over. Try your best to plant that ball joint of the left big toe on the ground. So sometimes the foot just doesn't go down, but a lot of times I notice people in class, they just don't, they're just not aware that it's not even, we're not even using the ground there as foundation. So anything that's touching the ground, press down and then here we go, we'll squeeze and lift through the midline. And then hug your right knee into the center, find your twist. Or if you wanna take the bind, outer edge of the right arm comes to the outer edge of the left knee. And we breathe directional breath, really down into the belly. Balancing out the body. Again, it's like I said this uh, last week, wringing the sponge. Mm. Taking away some of the chaos. Peaceful warrior. Inhale, exhale to come back to center, cow legs, gomukhasan legs. So just do your best here, keep a little awareness in the toes and sit up nice and tall. And if you are meeting some discomfort here or some sensation, shall we call it, lean in, trust. Remember that tapas practice that discipline, and then breathe. Use your tool of the breath. And if you do need a little more, then walk the fingertips forward. Keep active through the toes. Send your sits bones way down to the core of the earth and bow your head forward and down. Wherever you are, take your eyeballs out of the picture for one more breath cycle. So. Don't gouge out your eyes, please, but just close your eyelids <laughs> and take a cycle of breath here. Rock and roll, and then slowly we'll begin to release with control and come on down to your back, all the way down. Center yourself on your mat. You're going to bring the hands, palms face down, and we're just going to bring the knees up towards the chest, and then you're just going to rock a little side to side, nice and easy, massaging the lower back. Massage your lower back, top of the glutes. Maybe you scoop up. If you want to do a little rock and roll action, you can, but just massaging. Oh, yeah, there's the creaky old floor. 
And then after a little bit of massage, you're gonna let your feet come to the earth, but with so much awareness and love, respect. And if you missed it, if you kind of blew through the first one, do it again. So you have to use your core to just lower your feet with so much respect. You're aware of your footprint. And yes, this is a metaphor. Let's just do it one more time just to test. Let the lower ribs get heavy. Just aware of how you're placing your feet. Yes, beautiful. Then allow the knees to fall to one side, any side. Breathe deep. And then back to center. Allow them to fall to the other side. Breathe deep. And back to center. Great, send the legs out long. Open the palms. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Snuggle your shoulder blades underneath your heart space. Open your heart. And then allow your body to get really, 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 really heavy here. Allow your breath to soften. Way to show up for your regular practice. Remember today's invitation to really see and connect this idea that your attitude creates your world. And the tools of yoga are here to help you with that. All right, and then we'll slowly bring the palms together, bring the thumbs right up to the third eye. Peace in our thoughts. Drop the thumbs to your lips, peace in our words. And drop your thumbs right to your heart. Peace in our heart. Thanks everyone. Take good care. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening. I'll see you next time. Namaste.